Tucson, Arizona is the home to the nation's largest cacti. The giant swirl is the symbol of the American West. These majestic plants, only found in a small portion of the United States, are protected by the Swirl National Park to the east and west of the city of Tucson. Swirl National Park is made up of two districts. The east, the Rikon Mountain District, is established in 1933, and to the west, the Tucson Mountain District is established in 1961. Its two districts are separated by the city's one million residents. Today we are visiting the Tucson Mountain District of Swirl National Park. This section of park contains large strands of squirrel cactus, creating a breathtaking squirrel forest. We start our visit at the National Parks Visitor Center. Seen so many squirrels? I know. Definitely not, but. Yep. There's just thousands and thousands of them. Yep. And the natives look at them as representing the people. Yeah. That you should look it's out an there. interesting perspective. Yeah. That, that they're, the swirls represent the relatives from the past. Yeah. Outside the visitor center, there's a nature trail that you can walk through. And you can see some of the different variety of cactus that are in this national park, which is kind of neat. We started our visit to Saguaro National Park in the Western District, but we're going to take a ride over to the Eastern District and there's a scenic loop that you can drive around. We're going to do that there. Um, the two districts are actually separated and so the drive over to the other district is about 30 miles. It would take us through some of this park but, out, but we'll go out of the park and then back into it when we get to the other district. This is old Tucson Western Studios, and this is a home where a number of movies are filmed here. Probably some of the more recent ones was the movie Young Guns with Emilio Estevez and um, Keith or Sullivan. Actually, probably not reason that's from the 80s. But it's... Uh, Three Amigos? I don't know. Could be. Um, but it's a, it's a Western town, and for a number of years it was open as a walk-through type... Um, I'm going to call it a theme park where there really wasn't rides except for the train. But it was an experience where you could walk through the different things. Um, since then, it, it did close for a while um, from COVID and it's just reopened. And now you can take daily tours through the um, area, the, the town, which is kind of cool. We've been here years and years ago and when it was open when you could walk around and, and visit the town and see and go through all the different buildings and such. I think this is more of a scaled down version of what they're doing with the tours, but it's still kind of neat that at least it's reopened and people can come back here and see it again. Of course, while visiting 
well, old Tucson, they do have a gift shop, the last outpost. So, of course, we had to go and buy a few things. So, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications, and until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. You and I as one will always be better than